I was living at home. I'd just gotten out of the military, and I was about to go to sleep, and I heard a bunch of noise from downstairs that sounded like people talking. And I chambered, I chambered, up, <laughs> I chambered around in it. Why is that your first reaction? Because if somebody's breaking into the house and stealing crap, I'm going to shoot them. So I go downstairs, and I'm in my underpants with a shotgun, clearing my house. I get downstairs, and the TV is on, and I'm like, who would turn on the TV if they're trying to break into a house? I go look around the side of the couch, and my cat has sat on the remote and has turned the TV on. (laughs) I almost unloaded steel birdshot into my cat from Point Blank Range. In your shotgun, you had steel birdshot. Yeah. Why? Uh, Because steel birdshot at close range is absolutely devastating. And there's no need to shoot your cat when obesity is going to kill it soon anyway. Oh, that's sad. And true. I'd like to take on a contract, Mr. Bobby Bass. Dexler is the name of the next guy. Dexler. He's a doctor. Might seem unusual. You say, why the fuck are we killing a doctor? Well, he's not just a doctor. He's a vigilante. He runs around with knives and shit, killing people, choking them out, then taking little bits of blood from them like some kind of fucking sicko. Mr. Dexler started out real sharp. You know, he would go and kill people, and it was interesting. And, you know, I like keeping track of all his doings. You know, even when he kind of turned against us, it was still, you know, I was intrigued. But last few times, he's got real sloppy and stupid, it seems, I think. I think he's neck deep in pussy, and that that just, for some men, once they get the cooch, it's like they lose their mind, all their hopes and dreams and and sense of bearing and manhood just fly out the window, all right, so we got to go in there, put him out of his misery, even with his little knives, okay, now, you probably fought some men with some good knife skills, but this motherfucker will cut your balls off in a second after you take care of him you come on back we'll have a nice little paycheck for you all right you take care now we've already fought a raider who threatened to cut our balls off she wielded a knife called the emasculator that's true you know what dexler is a reference to could it be dr dexler it's a reference to the tv show dexter right and that's why he was saying that he started out real good and got sloppy The general consensus on the show Dexter is the first couple seasons are really, really good. I thought the first season was amazing, and then the second season I was just like, this is dumb, I hate this. (laughs) And I stopped watching after the second season. Okay, let's go kill Dr. Dexler. Doctor, only he's not a doctor in the TV show. No, I never killed any cats. He just came close a couple times. No, just once. And And it was because I thought I had an intruder. But the safety was on my shotgun the whole time, so it's fine. Are there any other instances of you killing animals? No! I'm not a psychopath. Sure you are. Oh, there he is. Should we try and talk to him? You can try. Um... Evening. Hello? I have no idea how most of these people would survive without us. Hey, is that a live hand grenade in your pocket? Are you happy to see- Ah! (laughs) Alright, well... He accidentally blew himself up. (laughs) Yeah, yes. He did. Julie, you need to heal me. Oh, hey, look, check it out. It's those people we rescued all, all that time oh, ago. Oh, wow. The Weathers family. How did you guys make it here? I guess they just kept on running until they found shelter. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave no. them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, no, I, I, need, I need help. What seems to be the problem? I'm seriously injured. <laughs> okay, what level of care do you require? I got caught in a... Horrible explosion. Just staple it all together. I'll fix my gimpy bits later. So good to see you. Dexler is dead. I'm going to tell Mr. Judge Richter right now that you did an exceptional job taking care of this little this little lab geek. Mr. Judge Richter, you know, he doesn't get uh, you know impressed by much, but I'm going to be like, surprise, motherfucker. We've got great news. All right, so here's your cat. It's a reference to the show. Come on back when you want the next job. You take care now. It's a reference to the show because there's a part where one of the characters walks out and surprises Dexter and goes, Surprise, motherfucker! Woof, 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 So good to see you. Stop watering my shoes, Bobby. I'd like to take on a contract. All right, we've been having a little bit of drama behind the scenes. People leaving the ranks inexplicably. You know, we had the book nerd, now we got one of our mercenaries. Cunty McLean. Alright, don't laugh. <laughs> Serious man. Strange name. 
But Cunty McLean jumped ship from Shadow Company. Guess he thought he was too good for him. And now he's going to go join NCR. You got to go on down to the Mojave Outpost. Try not to stir up all those goofy ass troopers always bitching about the weather. <laughs> Try not to shoot them. I know it's tempting. <laughs> okay. Go slip in there. Watch out for his mercs. He's got a few bodyguards. And then you take this little nice subsonic 22 and you put that real gentle in the back of his head. You take care now. Okie dokie. Let's go do that. How are we going to do that stealthily if he's got bodyguards? Just walk past him? Wait until he's asleep? Hope is definitely going to alert him. What with her limping all over the place. Notice that the Desert Ranger has a pole going up his butt. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mojave Outpost. Hey, maybe we can find Ghost and turn that quest in. That we did for like episode 18. Oh man, yeah. I wonder if Ghost is back yet. Nope, she's still gone. <laughs> Who knows where she is? She literally ran off somewhere and never came back. She's an NCR deserter. We're going to have to find her one day and kill her when we're doing quests for the that NCR. That is just so baffling that she ran off and never came back. I think our dear friend Kunti might be inside the Mojave Outpost and it's going to be a fight. Let's go survey the situation first. What's the strategy if things go sour? Shoot everything. Hey, oh, things went south immediately. That didn't take long. Uh, oh, NCR whoa, doesn't seem careful. to care. Hey, careful with that gunfight in here. Some of us are trying to get paperwork done. Stay down. Is that the guy we're looking for? Yeah, this is this is the guy we're looking for. Yeah, he's dead. The NCR didn't seem to be all that interested in protecting their latest recruit. Yeah, not really. Maybe his name is indicative of his attitude towards life in general. Well, the Sinus 22s in this game are based off the American AM-180, which is a 22 caliber submachine gun that uses the concept of brute force to get its way through armor. So it's a good weapon. Yeah, it's a 22 submachine gun that holds like 200 rounds of ammo, and it has an absurdly high firing rate. And the concept is, you get enough bullets hitting in the same spot on body armor, and eventually it's just gonna punch a hole straight through it. But if it's a submachine gun, the spray is gonna be pretty wild. Not really, it's still pretty accurate because it's a 22 submachine gun with like a 16 inch barrel on it. It's a 22 though, so the bullets can't even be that great. They're tiny little bullets. Yeah, but 22 is usually pretty damn accurate. Have you had any experience with that, firing a 22? Yeah. The submachine gun version? Oh, not an AM-180. Those things are really hard to find. <laughs> Just one more gun you can't add to your collection. To be fair, I don't really want to add one to my collection because I don't want to have to go through all the paperwork to get one. It's a lot of work to get a fully automatic firearm. And then also, they're kind of uncommon, so they're even more expensive because of that. Who's got time for that? Not me. Cunty McLean is dead. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. You're the best. You are the best. Don't pat his ego. That's all right. I'm self-depreciating. <laughs> Next job. Ooh, you got good timing because we have a huge job. Very important. Shit is hitting the fan. Kaka all over the place. <laughs> All right, Django Westwood, greatest bounty hunter since Stephen Randall, they say. Whoa! He has come to the Mojave. Would he go to the Strip, home to tons of people and titties and money That's where I'd go. and opportunity? No. Would he go to other places that make more sense? Fuck no. He has gone to Good Springs. <laughs> Little shithole town with evil magnetic energy drawing everything in. <laughs> so you've got to go to Good Springs once again, find this son of a bitch, and kill him. Now you might think, oh, it's just a simple job. Put a little twenty-two in there. No, no, it, this is this is hard. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say this is hard because this cocksucker will fucking kill you. He has killed more people than anyone since Marco. If you don't know about Marco, well, I can't, I can't fucking help you. Okay, I don't know what, I don't know what else to compare to. I, I'm out of analogies. All right. All right. You're just gonna have to go find this son of a bitch. Make sure you got the Kims, all your goofy ass companions. I, I've seen them. <coughs> They're all fucking strange and they make me uncomfortable, but I tolerate it because I'm a professional. All right. But this time he's talking about you, Mike. They might. You just get them all. I don't care if it's a fucking roach. And a goddamn zombie with a with a rubber glove, you get them motherfuckers together, and you get you get all your kims, all your bullets, all your armor. You go fight this motherfucker, cause he's gonna come at you full force. All right, he'll fucking kill you. Big bonus on this one though. 
Judge Richter hates this motherfucker. Hates him worse than somebody telling him, no more kids for you. Mm. So just go kill him. Come back and get paid. We'll go We'll go from there, all right? You take care now. So we're going to go kill Django Westwood, which I'm pretty sure is a reference to the movie Django Unchained. Uh, I'm a little concerned because Bobby Bass said this is going to be a difficult mission. He keeps saying all these missions are going to be super easy. But we haven't been able to use stealth on hardly any of these. Yeah. And they've cause... always had like eight or nine bodyguards. So if he says this is going to be a fight, I assume he's underselling it. I think he's overselling it. Yeah. I think this one's going to be really easy. It's going to be the easiest mission yet. Didn't there used to be a tree right by this truck? Yeah, sometimes lumberjacks come around and get some more wood for the paper mill. Well, let's go. Uh, that must be the weird magnetic evil energy that draws things in here. Die, magnetic evil energy! Dust tornado. You done motherfucked yourself, partner. What? He got the drop on us because I was busy trying to shoot the magnetic evil energy. What's the matter, Django? No bodyguards? Thought you could take us all by yourself? You thought you were gonna be cool, but no. I guess, oh, he's dead. I guess you were right, Zach. <laughs> That's the easiest one yet. <laughs> yeah, he kind of really oversold this one. <laughs> Die, evil energy. That's right. Keep shooting it with birdshot until it dissipates. You have stopped this magical occurrence. I have happening. saved the- Ah! Oh, run! Run! <laughs> I'm a man of simple taste. Who is this? Hey there. You look different today, Josiah. Well, first things first. Yeah, Django's dead. Lordy, let me tell you, when you walked through the door, I was ready for anything, because I wasn't sure who was going to come back. You or Django. But clearly you won, so here's your money. We got- one last humongous job for you. Uh oh. So come back when you're ready. Take care now. He's built it up too much. He built up Django and he was kind of a flop, so I'm not even expecting too much from this one. I wonder if the final job is Josiah Peep. Oh. So good to see you. What happened to Josiah? That's my number one question. Well, we found out he's cooking the books, passing information to some NCR guy, so. Y yeah, we had to kind of cut his. Cut his balls off and let the dogs eat him. <laughs> oh. It wasn't really pleasant, but again, like the Undertaker thing, it just had to be done. Guess he's not going to be the final contract. That happened very quickly, considering how long it took us to do that last contract. <laughs> yeah, I guess they were very hungry dogs. You must not be feeding them very much. It's very thorough. Anyway, let's take on this last contract, shall we? Big job. After this, I actually don't know if we'll have anything for you, but fuck it. There's a payday. Hey! Senator Robertson. Whoa! NCR. Uh-oh. Fifth District. Wherever the fuck that is. He wants to run for president. Normally, I could give a baker's fuck. But his whole platform is going to rest on kicking Judge Richter and me and you out of the Mojave. Uh-oh. He's the one been scheming all this shit behind our back, right, riling up the hobos. Judge Richter's angry. He's so angry, he didn't, he won't even touch his little boys. That's Ooh, how angry he is. He must be really Let mad. Let me tell you, mister, that's that's pissed off. Lucky for us, you don't have to go to California or some bullshit, because that's more work than we're interested in, believe me. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. You go into that bath, look out for the bodyguards, take this little nice subsonic 22, you put that real gentle in the back of his head, and we're golden. You go on ahead... You go take care of the senator. You remember, strength of character. Good judgment. You go, good luck to you. Thanks. I, I feel like we're going to need it. I assume there's going to be 30 bodyguards there. Howdy. Be careful, secretary. If you haven't learned, Josiah Peep was your predecessor, and he sold secrets to the NCR. So if you don't watch out, they're going to cut your balls off no. and feed you to the dogs. Yeah, so don't... Balls? They'll at least do the, one of those two things. One of those two things. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? <laughs> my wife and I know the secret to a happy marriage. Two times a week, we go to a nice restaurant. She goes Mondays, I go Fridays. He's a comedian. I know a guy. His motto is love thy neighbor. He lives next to a brothel. Oh, no. Yes, he is. They really care about your privacy here at the Tops. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? <laughs> I bought my wife a little car here in New Vegas. An Omerta. It has a hood... Under the hood. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. I could stay here and listen to this guy all day. I couldn't. Oh, is he in the Ultralux? But I don't want to give up my guns. 
You can give both to me, because they don't seem to mind that I smuggle them all in. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, here. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? You can take all my weapons. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Boy, it sure would be a shame if somebody was just carrying guns around, wouldn't it, guys? Man, that'd be a shame. That would cause a stir, let me tell you. Watch out. Ah! No! Looks Come like on. they're not happy that you're waving your gun around, Zach! Are these just bodyguards? <laughs> Looks like it, yeah. Looks like the senator's got some extra security, like I thought he would! Well, there we go. Vincent, did you lose your weapons again? Or he, lo he lost his weapons when he came into the casino. <laughs> They took his weapons away. For some reason, they don't seem to feel like searching you. They just don't trust you or Vincent, and honestly, they shouldn't. I wouldn't trust me either. Ah! 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 I can't kill any of these innocent people. You can try. Senator Robertson, die! Oh, I'm gonna die. There's so many bodyguards here. Just assassinate the senator and let's run. I, I think the senator's been assassinated. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Leaving. Let's leave. Follow the fleeing naked people. There was no senator that was assassinated here. Clearly not. But you are going to have to clean up that bathroom. That's something that's going to have to happen. I think they have to clean it up every night anyway. <laughs> yeah, some of the patrons pee in it, so it doesn't surprise me. Uh, they do things a lot worse than peeing in it. Wow. I've been married for 17 years. Where did I go wrong? Oh. Oh. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Geez, some people. Boy, this is some show. <laughs> so good to see you. Operation Macaroni Salad has been completed. I have taken care of Senator Robertson. I knew you were going to take care of it. It's that strength of character. You remember when you first came in here? Judge Richter wanted me to personally thank you. He took time out from his playtime with the boys. Gross. To send a big bag of caps and his personal... Thanks. Did he send a gift I wish I had more jobs for you, but frankly, you've killed everybody that needs killing. I'm real proud of you. Real pleased to have worked with you. Hope to work with you again in the future. You take care now. I wonder what Bobby Bass is going to do now that he doesn't have any bounties to give out. How is he going to pay his new secretary? He just draws a gun out of his desk and shoots himself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make those biscuits, Secretary? I didn't realize you could cook. Sure can. I hope you don't mind me asking, but how big are your titties? Say no more. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Yeah, those will do all right. I think I know a guy who's interested in what you've got. Whoops, slippery fingers. Guess you'll have to come with me instead. <laughs> 